This thing desperately wants to be ridden today, but the weather isn't looking terribly great. So more driving it is. This isn't my first cup of coffee for the day. The first one is when I'm editing these videos. If there's one guy in the world that I really admire these days, I would say it would have to be this guy right here. I'm sure you know Elon Musk, the rocket pioneer, the electric car pioneer, and he also does things with solar power and his newest adventure, the Hyperloop. Oh, and then there was this small thing back in the early 2000s called PayPal. Well, during the past several weeks, Musk has been in the news because Tesla, his car company, is working on buying Solar City, the solar company that he's involved with. His cousin's the CEO. It's, it's, it's the solar roof as opposed to a module on a roof. I've actually wondered about this in the past, why people did not just put solar panels on the roof instead of shingles. So if the sign would be for roof, that, that is a solar roof. It's not, it's not a thing on a roof, it is the roof. And not something that is available really any, anywhere else, and it's quite a standout. He didn't elaborate if it was shingles or if it was the actual roof surface. There's one or two companies in the world already doing shingles. It just seems like a wonderful opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. You're getting a roof that makes electric. Now I could see there being issues with one side of the roof being north facing and shaded and the other side of the roof being southern exposure to the sun. Will he make a roof without solar panels for that? Either way, I think it's a really good idea. And years back I was talking to my friend who's a solar installer in the area. And he said that most houses with a high efficiency panel can produce all of their power from their roof. But will he really be able to take the roofing industry by storm? Let's do some math. I found that for a shingled roof, the price varies between three and seven and a half dollars per cubic foot. Solar panels are not measured by the cubic foot. They're more measured by the watt. For this year, a typical price with incentives across the United States is $3.7 per watt. If you do a quick look on eBay, you can kind of get an idea of how cell size compares to wattage. The best money can buy a 5x5 five five cell with 3.55 watts. Solar cells range in size from 3x6 inches to 6x6 six six inches, and the wattage output varies accordingly. However, if you calculate it out on a watts per square foot, you end up with somewhere between 13 and 20 watts per square foot. Let's use 15 as a good number. Multiplying the 15 watts per square foot times the $3.7 dollars per watt, we arrive at $55.5 dollars per cubic foot of solar roof. Now, this is just an estimate and Obviously that is wildly larger than what you would pay for a regular roof. However, you have to figure in the fact that you're replacing your roof, plus you're getting solar power. So I'm really interested to see what Mr. Musk does with this. Who knows, maybe someday I'll have a solar roof. Let's get out of here for the day. Well, Peter and I, boy, you fogged up. Yeah. It's like water dripping from the sky. And Peter and I just got back from work. So that's my day and I will see you tomorrow. That's it.